beautiful. Happy December. It's Carrie Samuels here, your intuitive counselor and happiness coach. And I have a forecast for you. And I have to tell you, December is absolutely spectacular. This whole month is divinely designed to make you have the most amazing new year. And even though it's the last month of the year, this is very much about new beginnings and initiations and fresh starts. December 2014 is a one universal month and one is the number of beginnings. And it's really more than that. So you're starting a new cycle whenever we have one. But one is also a number of inspiration and intuition and insight and new ideas. And these are ideas that come to you in a very inspired kind of way. They come to you from spirit. So you can even see that in the geometry of the one. It's phew, that's straight up and down, right? So it's very quick energy. And one is associated with your crown chakra. In the Kabbalah, the tree of life, it's the top of the tree that's closest to the sun. And that one is closest to source energy. For when you receive energy, you receive inspiration, you receive insight through that crown chakra, that part that's connected to source. And sometimes you'll experience that where all of a sudden an idea pops into your head and you'll see a vision of something. Or you get this really strong feeling that you're meant to do something. That's a real inspiration. Source energy, spirit, wants to download you with your future plans, wants to download you with what your next step is that you're meant to do. And sometimes we get these visions and we just kind of sit on them. We're, we're thinking, oh, one day I'll do this and maybe one day in the very, very far future. But when you have those inspirations, when you have those insights that come to you, it's because you're meant to act on it now. So take some time this month to write down your ideas, to write down your thoughts, to get that energy out of your head and into your body and start moving. You're going to have a ton of opportunity in 2015 to act on all these wonderful insights that you're receiving and really expand and prosper in magnificent ways. So you want to take advantage of this now while you're receiving these ideas. And there's more of this visionary energy ahead. The whole theme of the month is about your vision for the future. Because we're also in Sagittarius now. And there's a lot of fire right now. Last month we had a lot of water, which was very internal, very feeling oriented. We had all that Scorpio. And now we have all this fire, which is lifting your energy and having it move forward. And that's passionate energy. I don't know if you are familiar with the totem of Sagittarius. It's the archer setting his sights far into the future and really aiming for the future. And Sagittarius is governed by Jupiter, which is the planet of expansion and good luck and optimism. So this is such a wonderful time to lift yourself up so that you can see far into the future. The totem of Sagittarius is the archer, but it's also a centaur. I don't know if you're familiar with that. It's that half horse and half man. It's really not something you see in your backyard every day, is it? So the centaur is half horse because that's your passion, that's your animal nature, your instinctive nature, your intuitive self. And the top half, the archer, the man, is about your consciousness and raising your consciousness for a vision of the future in a way that's going to benefit you and all of humanity. We have a really remarkable day coming up this month that really sets you up for the new year in style. Our solstice. December 21st here in North America, in some parts of the world, it will be December 22nd. December 21st is when we have our solstice, the sun and the moon go into Capricorn at zero degrees. They're lining up together. And for the past few months, the, the sun and the new moon have been lining up exactly very much in sync on that same day. And when that happens, it's really kind of magical because your sun represents your external world and how you project yourself in the world. And your moon is your inner life. So when you have these sun and moon in perfect harmony with one another, it's really an opportunity for your inner world and your outer world to come together. And that's been happening for the past few months. It's because that is, again, what this lesson of this year has been about. It's about really connecting with your true self, your feelings, what's going on inside of you so that you can manifest that in the world. And 2015 is going to be an eight year and that's all about manifesting. So how perfect that you're in this total alignment 
between your outer world and your inner world, yourself and what you manifest. So beautiful alignment. So December 21st, the solstice, and the solstice is always magical too because that's a time that it's a return to light. In the Northern Hemisphere, it's about returning to the light, the light growing larger. And when the light grows, so does your outer world. So is how you manifest in the world. And even if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, this is all about your inner light. So this is a really great time for you to get an amazing vision for what you want to do next year. And that December 21st, when we do have our new moon, there are five planets in Capricorn that day, five. And that many planets in one sign is really setting you up for whatever that energy is. And we actually began this whole year, 2014 began with a new moon in Capricorn and we're ending with a new moon in Capricorn because we had that new moon January 1st and now we're ending with a new moon in Capricorn. So this Capricorn is very much about your personal status. It's that mountain goat that is having that slow climb to the top of the mountain through dedication and discipline and positive effort. That's about being at your peak and being rewarded for that. And these are going to be themes that you're going to see in the new year, all about status and power and passion. And use that Capricorn energy, use that Capricorn new moon to realize how you want to have more personal power, not for your own aggrandizement, because you're serving humanity with it. And the more power you have, the more money you have, the more appreciation you have, that's something you can steward and share in a way that can create more blessings for others. So it's really important that you end this year with some kind of ritual, some kind of closing ceremony or some kind of closure where you can celebrate everything you've done. It's the ending of something. It's the passing of a year. And you always want to honor that. And you've done so much this year. This has been a year of immense spiritual exploration and connection and revisioning and rewiring who you are. And that is a lot to celebrate. You've done a lot and you've achieved a lot. So maybe you want to light a candle or say a prayer, some way where you're honoring everything you've done. Maybe you want to write it down, all the things you've achieved, all the lessons that you've learned, all the love that you've created, all the connections you've made, and honor and bless all those that you let go of as well. And as you do that, you can create a very strong intention of where you want to go in the, the new year, in 2015, and what you want to become. Because you are creating that right now, and this is the absolute most beautiful time for that. So, you know, it's great that the last month of the year is full of holidays and celebration because that's how we should end it. So I hope you are celebrating all month long, every single day, make it a celebration and enjoy every minute of it. And I am so happy that I've got to spend this whole year with you every month with these forecasts. So thank you so much. And if you've enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. I know they'll appreciate it. And leave a comment below and publicly declare what your intentions are. Because as you do that, it brings more power to them. So I'm wishing you so much love and all the best for December and Happy New Year. I'll see you in 2015. Bye for now.